so we are in the creation of the organization structure and we have seen how to create a company company code plant store location purchasing organization so we continue the still the creation of the organization structure so next we are going to create purchasing group we are going to create purchasing group so therefore the path is so I'm going to enter SPRO at the top of the SAP is access screen press enter SAP reference IMG materials management purchasing create purchasing group so click on this clock click on new entries for example I am creating purchasing group as 222 it's a three digit code enter the description So give some telephone number, the fax number. Hello, sir. Telephone number that give some extension and the email ID. Hello, sir. Press center. Shekhar bhai, can you can you hear a voice? Somebody yes. is trying to call you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's going yes, on. Sir, uh, Press enter, save. Hello. Yeah, I'm able to hear you, man. I'm able to hear you. Um, sir, uh, so the next yeah, point is, I'm able to hear you, man. I'm able to hear you. Okay. Uh, this is the class, or uh, this is uh, class I have to wait. The class is going on, man. Okay, that's the class. Nine thirty is uh, started, isn't it? Yeah. The next point is assign company code to company. Now, so far we have defined the company, company code, plan, store location, and all. Okay. Assign company code to company. So here I am typing SPRO. SAP reference IMG enterprise structure assignment financial accounting assign company code to company assign company code to company it means we have created a company and we created a company code now we need to link to both of the parameters that is the meaning of the statement so click on this clock now here so first you find out your company code what we created so 2001 shell oil this is my company code I created at the corner you have company at the corner you have an option company so click on the drop down button and you find out your company what you created so the company I created double two double two that is shell oil enter okay so like this you need to select the company code what you created and exactly beside that we need to enter the company the company what we created then press enter and save the document enter so we have link both of them company and company code next assign plan to company code assign plan to company code so the path is SPRBO 
यस्य प्रेफरेंस आईएमजी एंटरप्राइज स्ट्रक्चर असाइनमेंट लॉजिस्टिक जनरल लॉजिस्टिक जनरल असाइन प्लान टू कंपनी कोड असाइन प्लान टू कंपनी को सगैन वी नीड टू क्लिक ऑन क्लॉक क्लिक ऑन न्यू एंट्रीज देर इज ऑप्शन कॉल न्यू एंट्रीज सो क्लिक ऑन दट ऑप्शन न्यू एंट्रीज So here the first column, the system displays company code. The second column, plan. So if you know the company code, what you created, so you can directly enter. If not, click on this drop down button and you can search your company code. So my company code I created is two zero zero one. Enter. The plan. If you know the plan, what you created, you can directly enter. If not, click on this drop down button. Enter the plan. So you'll get this screen. Press enter. So system will display the list of plans. So I created two zero one one. Select your plan. Enter. In the same way, enter the company code and the plan. So I created two plans. Therefore, I am linking my two plans to the company code. Press enter. This description automatically you will get it. So how many plans you create? Those plans are to be linked to the company code. Press enter, save. Press enter and save. Next, assign. Purchasing organization to company code. Assign purchasing organization to company code. So the path is the same path. S P R O. S A P reference I M G. Enterprise structure. Enterprise structure, assignment, materials management, assign purchasing organization to company code, assign purchasing organization to company code. So we need to click on this clock. So here you find out the purchasing organizations what you created. So these are the three purchasing organizations we have created: two zero eleven, two zero twelve, two zero thirteen. And beside that, you have another option called company code. So enter the company code. Press enter. So whatever the company code we have created, exactly beside that, we need to enter there. Press enter. And save. Can I ask you a question, please? Press enter and save. So, what are the purchasing organizations we have created? We need to select, and beside that, we need to enter the company code. 
I think your headphones is not proper. Excuse me, I'm not trying to use any other voice. That's that's not in view. Assign purchasing organization to plant. Assign purchasing organization to plant. So the same path, SPR Mo, IMG, Enterprise Structure, Assignment, Materials Management. Yes, we can assign. Assign Purchasing Organization to Plant. assign purchasing organization to plant click on new entries click on new entries So first, I will enter the purchasing organizations, and beside that, I will enter the plant. So three purchasing organizations link to the first plant. Oh, sorry, what is the plant I created? Two zero one one. Sorry. the same way so again three purchasing order link to the plan press center say Press center, set. The next one is assign standard purchasing organization to plant. Assign standard purchasing organization to plant. So the navigation is the same navigation, same path. SPR, SAP reference, IMG. Enterprise structure, assignment, materials management, then assign standard purchasing organization to plan. So here, the first column is plant, and second column is the standard purchasing organization. So here you select. The plans, what you, whatever the plans you have created, and beside that you enter the standard purchasing organization. What are the standard purchasing organization you have created? Select the plans, the plans what we created, and beside we need to enter the standard purchasing organization. If you know it directly, you can enter, or else click on this drop down button, and you can search the. Purchasing organization. Press center and save. Next point: Assign purchasing organization to reference purchasing organization. 
assign assign purchasing organization to reference purchasing organization assign purchasing organization to reference purchasing organization click on new entries So here, first I will enter the regular purchasing organization created and the reference purchasing organization. So I created regular purchasing organization 2011 that should be linked to the reference 2013. Press enter, save. Press enter and save. Go back, again click on new entries, this time standard and reference, this time link standard and reference purchasing organization. Save. Save. Now I have defined that is I have created and I have assigned. Now I want to see the total organization structure in the system. So what are the parameters I created? The company, company code, plan, store locations and all. So to display the organization structure in the system. So in the easy access, you need to enter the transaction code EC01. We need to enter the transaction code EC01. Enter. Structure. Navigation. Press enter. So system displays the list of company codes here. Yeah, then you can, you can scroll your mouse like this. You can search the company code what you created or else just click on this binoculars icon at the top of the screen. This binoculars icon is nothing but find option. And directly enter the company code what are the company code you have created. Press enter. So system displays directly your company code. Click on it. Exactly displays the it takes to the company code what you created. Now double click on the company code. Double click on the company code. So here the system displays the company code what we created. Company. Leave this credit controlling area. It displays your two plants what we created. Under the each plant it will display the store locations. What are the store locations we maintain. And the purchasing organizations. And each purchasing organization linked to the company code and plan. Each purchasing organization linked to the company code and so like this we need to define and we need to assign the organization structure the next heading is purchasing organization Purchasing department so called as a purchasing organization in our SAP ERP product. 
ये कंपनी कैन हैव वन परचेजिंग डिपार्टमेंट दैट इज वन परचेजिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और ए कंपनी कैन हैव मल्टीपल परचेजिंग डिपार्टमेंट्स और मल्टीपल परचेजिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज पर एस ए पी वॉट एस ए पी से देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ परचेजिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन there are three types of purchasing organizations the first one regular purchasing organization second standard purchasing organization reference purchasing organization so this is what sap says so whenever if anybody ask you in interview how many types of purchasing organizations are there then your answer should be three as per sap okay as i told you a company can have only one purchasing department there is one purchasing organization or they can have more than three purchasing departments or purchasing organizations but as per sap we have three types of purchasing organizations so what is regular purchasing organization regular purchasing organization is a purchasing department responsible for the regular purchasing of the materials goods and services from vendor so responsible for the regular purchasing of the materials goods and services from vendor next one is standard purchasing organization is a purchasing department responsible for the procurement of special stocks and special procurement activities so in future classes we will discuss some sort of the purchasing activities like subcontracting consignment pipeline handling process so like this we have different special procurement stocks and special procurement types so for this business scenarios we are going to use the standard purchasing organization so standard purchasing organization is a purchasing department responsible for the purchasing or the procurement of special stocks and special procurement activities like subcontracting consignment and pipeline handling process the third one reference purchasing organization so what is this a purchasing organization linked to one or several purchasing organizations a purchasing organization linked to one purchasing organization or several purchasing organizations is called a reference also we can call as a centralized purchasing organization then we have another one purchasing group purchasing group so what is this purchasing group so purchasing group is an individual person or a group of people responsible for the purchasing activities in a company purchasing group is an individual person or a group of people responsible for the purchasing activities in a company so this is as per our sap terminology point of view but basically 
the purchasing organizations are classified into three categories what are those here the purchasing organizations are classified into three categories so we'll discuss first one. corporate group purchasing next company specific purchasing the third one plant specific purchasing I will explain this for example I will take Tata group of industries why we are calling it as a Tata group of industries because this Tata group they have n number of industry segments industry segments means they are into steel they are into motors they are into aerospace they are into construction software capital Tata chemicals etc 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 so like this they have so many industry segments okay so each industry segment we call as a company code that is Tata Steel is one company code, Tata Motors is one company code, Tata Construction is one company code, etc. So for example, I'll take Tata Steel. Under this Tata Steel, one plant is located in Mumbai, another plant is located in Jamshedpur, another plant is located in Hyderabad, Chennai, Bangalore, etc, etc, etc. Now, so the company can decide how they want to have the purchasing departments. Suppose, let's say I will take corporate group purchasing, the first one. So, corporate group purchasing is a purchasing department responsible for the purchasing or the procurement of the materials, goods and services at corporate group level that is at Tata group level if you take here example it means whatever the material they want to purchase it may be from requirement from steel or motors or from aerospace or from construction or from software any material if they want to purchase they will approach to corporate group purchasing department the requirement either from it may be from Tata Steel or it may be from Tata Motors or it may be from Tata Aerospace, Tata Chemicals, etc, etc, etc. That is corporate group purchasing. Next, company specific purchasing is a purchasing department responsible for the purchasing of the materials, goods and services company code level at a specific company level that is you'll have a separate purchasing department for Tata Steel you'll have a separate department for Tata Motors separate purchasing department for aerospace construction chemicals software capital etc 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 that is company specific purchasing organization next plant specific purchasing organization is a purchasing department responsible for the purchasing of the materials goods and services at plant specific purchasing organization that is under Jamshedpur plant under Mumbai plant Hyderabad plant Bangalore Chennai etc 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 
so this purchasing classification is as per the industry standard not on the SAP wise but as per SAP you have three types of purchasing organizations but generally as per the industry standard purchasing department are classified into three categories either you have at corporate group level or company specific level or else at plant level this is also very important they will ask you in the interview so how many types of purchasing organizations means the answer is as per SAP you need to inform it so how many classification the purchasing organization can be divided it is three corporate company specific and plant specific purchasing organization so this is very important okay fine so we are almost all completed the organization structure and there is some pending that is controlling we'll have the controlling department the model is called a CO like our MM the main function of this controlling or controlling area is to control or to capture the expenses that take place in any company to control or to capture the expenses that are incurred in a company and one more thing the configuration settings of the controlling are done by the controlling consultant okay so what are the background settings related to the controlling they are totally done by the controlling consultant then we are the mm functional consultant then what is the need of this controlling settings and all yes we have the need we have the requirement we have the scenarios in our mm if you want to execute those scenarios we need to have the controlling parameters to be maintained without which we can't so the, the reason we need to maintain even the controlling settings also in the system you will not at all get an opportunity to configure all these controlling settings in the real time so in the training program we are going to see how to create all these controlling settings and how you assign the controlling to company code etc because if you don't maintain these controlling settings in future when you are trying to create a purchase requisition or a quotation or a purchase order the system will throw a message saying that control these settings are not maintained to the company code so and so etc 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 so that the reason we need to do some controlling settings which are required from our MM point of view we have certain scenarios in MM so what is the reason behind the first one is creation of PO for non-stock items it means it's not a stock item so in this case in this case we need some controlling settings some controlling parameters to be maintained without which you can't in the same way the creation of PO for the services then then creation of goods issue to a particular cost center so these are the mm scenarios without which the controlling parameters you can't execute and that too we need from the controlling side one is cost center the department or another is cost element so these two parameters are required in our mm to execute the creation of purchase order for non-stock items creation of purchase order for services and creation of goods issue to a particular 
cost center. So next is configuration settings. For the controlling. The first one is define controlling area or create controlling area. So the path is SPR bone, SAP reference IMG, enterprise structure, definition, controlling, enterprise structure, definition, controlling, maintain, controlling area. Now see the screen over here. In the above is SAP's access. We need to type SPRO. It may be small letters or capital letters. SAP reference IMG. Enterprise structure. Definition, controlling, maintain, controlling area, maintain, controlling area. So as usual click on clock. So you will get another scene. Now double click on maintain controlling area. Click on new entries. Click on new entries. And here you have an option controlling area is equal to company code. CO area is equal to C code. Click on this option. Click on CO area is equal to C code. That is the controlling area is equal to C code. The moment when you click on it, system will ask to enter the company code. So here, what are the company code you have created? Enter it. What are the company code we have created? Enter it. Press enter. And here you have an option assignment control under this you select the option controlling area same as company code so what are the company code we have created that will be the same thing for our controlling area in the assignment control you select the option controlling area same as company code save Now we have defined. Now we need to assign. SPR bone. That is assign company code to controlling area. So we have created a controlling area. So this controlling area belongs to which department? That is which company? So we need to link it. Assign company code to controlling area.
SPR bo SA preference AMG enterprise structure assignment controlling assign company code to controlling area assign company code to controlling area so here you select the controlling area what you created and double click on there is option called assignment of company codes double click on assignment of company codes click on new entries and here enter the company code enter the company code press enter save press enter and save so whenever if you define any parameter then by default we will have the assigning also defining and assigning so next is the next point in the controlling maintain controlling area the third point maintain controlling area the third point.